Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Adukwe Iglova and today I'm bringing you a whole new episode. It's fully packed and we are coming to learn how to make different types of brooch and lapel. So if you are interested and you are new here, you can subscribe to my channel so that you will see new videos of mine anytime I upload them. Before we start, I would like to show the items that we will be needing for this particular one so this channel if you really want to learn a lot of things then you are not at the wrong channel you are right here this is a very good channel where you can explore your talents and learn 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 so let me start by mentioning the items that we'll be needing this particular video we are coming to use Ankara um, that's our own fabrics our own locally manufactured fabrics to do our rose flower and then the bow tie so with the brooch that we are coming to do we are using our own fabric so this is my fabric different types i want to combine them so that i have a very nice piece and have my scissors and then my shares so my scissors and then my chest so this is my pin and then this is my glue, fabric glue. This one we call it Ufu glue. I also have the clips that we will attach our flower and our ribbon onto. So this different, we have different types. So this is a particular type. This is for brooch and then for a hair clip. It serves two purposes. So it's a brooch and a hair clip. So if you finish, you can clip it. Or use it as a brooch and this is my lapel pin this is the lapel pin that I'll be using for my brooch um, or my flower and then this for the hair so you clip it onto your hair to use I also have my pencil for tracing and doing the marking and then this is my thread so I've already thread them into the needle so different kinds of different colors of thread and then for my bow tie i'll be doing a butterfly also so for the butterfly i'll use this metal wire to do it this is a violin usually people call it stiff i'll use it in place of felt because it doesn't fray so we usually use felt before attaching our clips onto that it but i don't have the felt fabric so i'll use my violin or what we usually call stiff this is a glue gun so this is the glue gun and the glue stick so you can buy some and then use them and upon all these things what will really bring the beauty of the butterfly the bow tie the um, rose flower is our trimmings so i got some stones here that i'll be using so these are the stones that i'll be using and some of my trimmings are here i'll be using them together to do a very nice one so different types of trimmings that i got here and also I think I've mentioned everything on my table. Stay glued to your seats as we start with our brooch.
guys for staying till the end of this video. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video and you also like to do your own brooch or lapel. You can rock it anywhere to use the church or to probably a wedding or any program for casual. So you just try something out and then let me see. During my sewing with the hand sewing, I had to use a certain tool which would have prevented or helped me in the sewing so that the needle wouldn't prick my hand. I want to know if you really know what it is. So I would like to stop talking and then we'll end our video here. I can't wait to see you in my next video. It's bye for now.